So the big news for horror fans lately is that apparently the new Halloween film has found a home and will be coming to us from a production of Bloomhouse, uh, some other guys, which were Dimension guys, uh, the producer of Halloween, and of course uh, John Carpenter is back to help produce this thing as well. His first time, I believe, of uh, producing a Halloween film since Halloween 3, so it's been a long time since he's been involved, and a lot of people was really excited about it. Um, of course, he's not directing it, which is probably for the best that he's not, since if you've seen The Ward, maybe it's not such a good idea to let John go and direct films these days. But I digress. I also don't want to get overhyped at the fact that he even has his hand in it, because as many of you have probably heard before, he's got more of an attitude of just, hey, pay me and you can do whatever. So this time he's producing, but he did one time say something about when it comes to the Halloween franchise, he just basically held his hand out and they put money in it. And that was how he saw the Halloween franchise, pretty much. Also, the last time, this was noted by Wes Vance on, on Facebook from Dead Pit, and he made a good point. The last time that John Carpenter got involved in a production of one of his classic films, the end result was the remake of The Fog. So let's not get too excited here on what we're going to get. Although he does say that his goal is to make this, which is I believe the 10th uh, film in the franchise now, is to make it the scariest of them all. Maybe he will. And they also want to return it to form a little bit. So that kind of brings us to who, who's going to be directing it. Nothing is, is finalized right now, but Mike Flanagan of, of, you know, of Oculus fame, and he made Hush, uh, which is very Halloweenish in a lot of ways, is kind of like the front runner they think may actually get the job. I think we've pretty well seen what he could do if he did a Halloween film, because he did do Hush, and Hush was, like I said, very much in the vein of a Halloween movie, and could probably be the closest thing to tone and style since Carpenter's original Halloween way back in the day. Um... The other name that we've heard mentioned is Adam Wingard, who, who of course, did um, Homesick back in the day. And, of course, he did much better films later on with, uh, you know, was it A Terrible Place to Die, which I've not seen that one. But I did see Your Next, and I did see The Guest. And I really kind of get more excited under the idea that he could do it because... Uh, I think he might be able to add a little bit more of a boost to it, where I think Flanagan could probably keep things more status quo and maybe more Carpenter-ish, which might be what some people want, or maybe more horror community people want. Uh, the more fun movie they probably sit in the theaters and watch might actually be whatever Adam Wingard can, can come up with, and I think he really would want this game to be like a dream job to him. So I kind of hope he ends up getting the, the go-ahead with it, which who knows at this point. Maybe Flanagan. He has more of a connection with the folks at Bloomhouse, so it could be him. Uh, he may be a lock for all I know already, but those are the two names we've heard so far, although I'm sure we may hear more if it ever even sees the light of day, because how many films have we heard from, like, Nightmare on Elm Street films and Friday the 13th films and, of course, this that we've heard so much about and we've not seen anything to show for any of it yet, so this could all get flushed down the toilet tomorrow for all we know. But keeping wishful thinking alive, we, as of now, have a new Halloween film coming. Maybe directed by Mike Flanagan. Maybe directed by Adam Wingard. Who knows? Carpenter may decide how he wants to give it another go. Who knows? But that is the news, and that's just my little quick take on it. I hope we see a film, and I really, really hope that when all said and done, regardless of who's doing it, that it does end up being a good movie, because, well... It'd be a shame just to let franchises like that set by the wayside, especially when they shouldn't even take that much to make them, if you think about it. These were low-budget films back in the day that made a lot of money, sort of like how Saw did, you know, in the 2000s. So it, it's a shame that they haven't done made a bunch of them. It's a shame they haven't done made a bunch more Friday the 13th films. But if they are thinking of letting younger directors take their stab at them, I do believe they've, they're moving in the right direction. If it does ever get made... So maybe it will, and hopefully it will, and hopefully it'll be good. But the way I look at it with Halloween is after Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, you probably couldn't get much worse.